Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on string is implement a to i, which means ask i to integer. The question states that your task is to implement the function a to i. The function takes a string as argument and converts it to an integer and returns it. In case if the input string is not a numerical string, then we need to return minus one as output. Let's have a look at the examples. In example one, the input string is one two three, and the output is integer one twenty three. In case of example two, the input string is two one a. Since it is not a numerical string because it has the letter a, therefore the output here is minus one. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider a string whose characters are minus five six eight. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm. And we store the string length in a variable called length, as well as we declare two more variables, namely sign and out, and initialize them to zero. So we start our algorithm by traversing the string from i is equal to zero up to the length of the string. And at each traversal, first we check for the condition whether if it is a first character that is i is equal to zero, as well as the value of that character is minus, that is s of i is equal to forty five, where forty five is the ASCII value of minus. So in our case, this condition is true. Therefore, we update the value of sign as one, and we continue further. So now i is incremented, and i points to the character five. So again, we check whether if i is equal to zero, which is false. So there is another condition, which is s of i is greater than or equal to zero, as well as s of i is less than or equal to nine. So five lies between zero and nine. Therefore, this if condition is true. And there is a nested if else statement. So the if condition is i is equal to zero, which is false. So we are in a else part where we update the value of out as out into ten plus s of i minus forty eight. That is, we subtract the ASCII value of zero from the ASCII value of five. So the updated value of out will be five. And again, we increment i. Now i points to the character six. Again, we check for the condition whether if It is a first character, which is false. So again, we check whether if six lies between zero and nine. So this condition is true. So again, we enter the nested if condition, which is i is equal to zero, which is false. So we are in a else part again, where we update the value of out as out into ten plus s of i minus forty eight. So this time we subtract the ASCII value of zero, which is forty eight, from the ASCII value of six, which is fifty four. So we get. The updated value of out as fifty six, and i increments points to the character eight. Again, the first if condition fails, and the second if condition is true. So we check whether if i is equal to zero, which is false. So again, we are in our else part where we update the value of out as out into ten plus s of i minus forty eight. So we subtract the ASCII value of zero from the ASCII value of eight. And we get the updated value of out as the integer five sixty eight, and again i increments. Now i points to the value four, which is not within the boundary of the string. That is, it is greater than the string length. So we come out of a for loop and check for the condition whether sign is equal to one. In our case, the value of sign is one. Therefore, we update the value of out as zero minus out. Therefore, we get the final value of out as minus five sixty eight. So we return the value of out. So now let's have a look at our actual code. The driver code is already given, and we just need to complete the function a to i, which means ask i to integer, whose argument is the string s. So as we have seen in the explanation part, we have created two variables, namely sign and out, as well as we have stored the string length in the variable length. So the main part of the algorithm begins with this for loop, where we traverse the string from i is equal to zero to length. And at each traversal, we first check for the condition whether if i is equal to zero, that is, it is the first character, and the value of that character is minus. If so, then we update the value of sign as one and continue with the for loop. Then uh, there is a if condition, which check whether if the value is numeric, that is, s of i is greater than or equal to zero, as well as it is less than or equal to nine. So if it is true, then we have a nested if else statement. Where the first if condition checks whether if i is equal to zero, that is, it is the first character. If so, then we update the value of out as simply s of i minus forty eight. That is, we subtract the ASCII value of zero from the ASCII value of that particular character. Else, 
we first multiply the value of out by 10 and then we add the value s of i minus 48 to the value of out and finally if both these conditions fail then in the else part we return minus 1 that is in case the input string is not a numerical string after the for loop we check whether if sign is equal to 1 and if so we update the value of out as 0 minus out which updates the value of out as negative of out and finally we return out so we can compile a code now since the code compiles fine so we can submit it and it got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations thank you